Playing me off already. So, there was a poet of some dubi dubious origin who was working under royal levels of deadline pressure who once said that all the world is a stage. <laughs> he went on and on and on and on. Very good. He went on, and basically the idea was pretty simple. He said that you have... I can hear the really good theater people in the back just running through it. I can actually hear you doing it. The sound of the acoustics in here are great. But they were at th he went through this with a simple idea. You have a moment in your life, that's a scene, that tells you who you are in that moment. You make a decision that builds pressure towards these great transitions, these big crossroads of change. Those are the acts. You stack enough of them together, and in the post-mortem, well, that's the play of your life. Unfortunately, the irony of this is, you don't get a copy of that script despite you being the star of the show. Woo! Which makes it interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting. And what you're forced to do is to rely on those fantastic moments. Those little moments where you really know, you just, I know exactly who I am. I had one of those last Friday at about 5 p.m. I wanted to tell you all about it. All right, so I was setting up an art show with my friend, Philip Rodriguez, AKA the Fez. T tassel free, Fez is the man. Marie Martin helped us out that night. Hi, Marie. And myself, we set up an art show and we were such a good team moving at circus speeds that we were done with like an hour to kill. And so I sent them to go get a snack and I, like many Shakespearean heroes said, I will take the first watch to be alone with my thoughts. I would have soliloquied, but of course I generally get that out of my system on Monday nights. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. And so I stood there, and after a while I realized I could not stand still because that's just not who I am. So I turned on some good music, a mix provided by my friend TJ. I started doing a little stretching, and before I knew it, in the middle of this large empty art show, I was standing on top of a furniture dolly, using it like a rollerball, holding two security badges, spinning them like poi. That, that, my friends, was not the moment where I knew who I was. At that moment, Mother Hen came by. Mother Hen, of course, being the slightly aged, slightly grumpy, countenanced woman with her seven young girls trailing behind her like so many ducklings. They were all in uniform, no doubt some sports team. And she was looking at me with an insalubrious expression and with a tone just dripping with the sort of disdain I haven't heard since, well, pretty much from anyone I talked to about myself, except here. She said, I tell my girls never to do things like that. Why? The children, seeing another adult in play, another character in the play, turns and looks to me for an answer. Please note, I'm standing on top of a furniture dolly on one foot, spinning security badges like poi, sweating to some dubstep. Yeah. Yeah. Love, love, baby. And I stop, and I look at them, and I say, Mother Hen is very old and very wise. I was careful to go quickly. Mother Hen is very old and very wise, and she's absolutely right. You should never do the things I do. You should go and make terrifying, horrifying mistakes that are all your own. And then, with dead William Shakespeare as my witness, the following moment happened. I leaned forward and stepped down and said, can you say cautionary tale? And the little girls with angelic, harmonious voices came together and said, Cautionary tale! And walked away. <laughs> and so Mother Hen had expected to find an opportunity to teach about judgment and about, well, grumpiness and proper behavior, and instead she forgot. I was the clown with the badge, and I just gave her kids a writ to go play however they wanted to. 
I don't know where you go when you're not here. I love that you're here. Thank you all for coming. But when you go out in that world, and even tonight, with all of the crazy things you're going to see, do me one favor. Take yourself with you and know who you are and make that play as interesting as mine. Thank you.